Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the very first time, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. It's been a beautiful weekend here in the Hudson Valley. Another gorgeous day here today. I spent 98% of it outside in the yard between digging up dirt, uh, just working outside, doing the things you got to do, you know. There's never like a free time. They say you get a day off from your job. When? Because then you're doing laundry and cooking and grocery shopping and everything else and mowing and hey. All right, everybody, it's me time. <laughs> I'm super tired, I'm super sore, but I was like, nope, I need some me time. I wanna sit down with my family and show you some more finds. I did go to the Dollar Tree, I'm guilty. I went back to the Dollar Tree again. Um, I had to go to a couple of places and I passed two and I was like, I I'm just gonna have to stop. And I did find a few things, so I'm gonna share them with all of you. Every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from the same locations throughout the Hudson Valley, which is where I am currently living. And I mentioned state of New York. All right, so let's jump into this video. I'm going to start off with um, a couple things in uh, feminine hygiene, I guess you would say, like razor blades for your legs and your pits. <laughs> this is the Assured brand. You're going to get five razors, but these have the triple blades. I do like the triple blades and usually for me I use a razor like maybe twice and then I wing it um, but here it is right there and they're in this pretty little teal package so I grabbed some of those just picked up one of these um, it was a bonus size 2.1.25 um, ounces this is the powder fresh powder stick so I picked up another one of those also picked up this little brush kit um, for doing my nails because I've been doing so much work out in the yard and sometimes I just can't wear gloves because I need to feel what I'm doing and my nails are just wreaking habit. So I wanted to get a couple little like these brushes and this one was a two pack uh, by Sassy and Chic, the bigger nail brush and then the little smaller one. So I grabbed that. Um, I thought I was going to have to get like two brushes because I wanted the smaller one but that came together. I was like, great, I need it. Um, let's just stay in uh, the makeup department, beauty department. This is where you get your deodorants as well. And this is a 3.5 ounce bonus size. And it's the Power Stick for Her Body Spray Soft Floral. This one, like I said, is 3.5 ounces. I gave this a squirt when I came home and it smells really nice. It says floral, but it's not like an overpowering, like smack in the face floral. I feel it is subtle, but yet it's got enough, but it smells nice. And again, everybody sniffer is different. You know, with my allergies right now, sneezing like crazy. I don't just sneeze once, twice, three times. It's like five or six in a row. Um, and I get nasally because my allergies are crazy. So my sniffer is a little bit off, but these smell really nice. This air conditioning unit that's blowing on me is going to drive me nuts because it's moving my hair back and forth. All right, so stay in the beauty department. I picked up another face mask. This one is Stardust with Glitter. It's Soothing Peel Off Mask and it's all in green. Look at that. So I grabbed myself one of those to stick with my face masks. I did come across, I actually got two of those, so I'll put that one there. These are by Be Pure Clean Beauty Satin Lipsticks. I was like, I haven't seen these. So I found one that was in Nude and the other color I found is Classic Red. I'm not going to give the red one a shot, but let me try this nude one first. I want to just see. Because nude doesn't necessarily, you know, usually it could be a light mauve, a light pink. It could be a brownish, you know, beige color. Let's go and get this out of the package first. You ever, like, um, do so much with your arms, like weed whacking and, and shoveling and all that? Really? Really, Cheryl? <laughs> you waited for me to start filming? By the way, that was Cheryl that just flew by. Um, if you're part of the YouTube family here, <laughs> you know what we're talking about. And now I just got a mental picture of what Patty posted last night about Cheryl on the motorcycle. And I got a visual going. All right, back to the product. This is Be Pure Clean Beauty. Again, the color is called Nude. So this feels like... um. It is, it's like a cardboard. 
it's like a reinforced cardboard, but then the tube down here is plastic, so that's weird. It's definitely full size. I'm kind of digging this color. So I'm trying to find a spot where I'm not all marked up, but here we go right here. Cause you can see I'm a little here. There we go. There's my farmer's tan kind of going on there right now. But anyways, here's my kind of skin tone right now. I always do it like the wrong way. That's pretty actually, there it is. I like that. You know, sometimes you want the lips to be like, bam, up on your face. And then other times you want something a little bit softer and prettier. That's nice. I like that. Now, I know the red one will be like out there. So I'm not even going to try that one right now. All right. So staying in the beauty department, I did find some more of the Revlon Thick Stick Foundation Sticks. Now, I showed you a few last night. Now these are different from the ones I showed you. So we're gonna open these up together. This one, and like I said, if you find these, the packaging does not indicate in any way, shape or form what the color is. It just gives you a number and that's it. Packaging is super, super cute. This one is number 03 and the color is meringue, which I absolutely love. So let's see where we're going with this one. We had like one that was kind of my shade, one that was really, really, really light, one that was just too dark. Let's see what this one is. Okay, let's try it. There it is. I'm thinking I'm kind of, this is more my jive. So let me go over to here and there it is. Probably without my sun going on, this would work. Um, but again, if I compare it to like this one, which was number 17 muffin, and I put that right next to it, there you see. So quite a difference. And the other one, I think my daughter ran off with one. The other one I have here is um, 01, which was froth. And this is that really, I'll put it right there white one i would like be uh using that for like a concealer but hey that's me so there you go now i have one other one i want to share <coughs> excuse me this one is number zero two so hopefully these swatches help you out so you don't have to be you know spending all your money here looking because like i said there's just absolutely no color indication on the box whatsoever so number zero two the color is milk there it is there it is and let's kind of go like right here there it is so quite an array of colors going on here now i don't know how much you can see with my camera um, but as you can see it, you know, you've got your darker colors. You got a little bit more white and pink mixed in here. Definitely more white going on. So, but you can mix, match them. Um, if it's any indication on the tubes that are inside, and I just dropped one, so I'm not even going to show you what I was going to show you because there's no point. All right. Um, let me just grab a tissue real quick here. Wipe some of this off my hand. <clears throat> Sorry, I sound all snuffy all of a sudden. My goodness. All right, so moving on. Let me just move this to the side. I did find some nails by that brand name company. Now, since I have mine done now, um, but my daughter still does hers. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right or not. Is it Helios? This one here is Gel Effect. And how many, you are getting 24 in here? Yeah. This one is Gel Effect very very pretty and then this one is polished effect and you're getting 24 in each box let me see if i can get you a better shot of the colors uh how about right there i think that's a good shot much more peach going on on this side much more iridescent going on on that side very very pretty and those are um from what i understood the cashier said those are kind of expensive at regular stores which i don't know what stores would those would be but that's what she mentioned to me all right, let's go over to the stationery department. Oh my gosh. I mentioned that I got a whole bunch of notebooks. Well, I'm gonna share a few more that I didn't share with you in my other video. 
these are all spiral bound. They are just made by Dollar Tree, Greenbrier. You're getting 50 sheets in each one. I don't know which one I love the most. I got two of each. I'm totally guilty. Believe in magic. Isn't that beautiful? I thought it was so pretty. So you open up the front cover and it looks like that. And then as you go into it, it's just plain Jane paper, but the, <laughs> just too cute. I'm noticing a lot of notebooks are coming with this printed on the book. It's not a sticker. I hate it, drives me nuts, but whatever. Just letting you guys know, too, too cute, right? That's not even cute enough. How about, I don't know which one's cuter. Let's go to this one. Every day is a new day, and that's very true. How pretty, the color on these is just phenomenal. They are so cute. Now, these are a little bit thicker. It's, um, I wanna say probably the consistency of two file folders put together, manila folders. And then there's your inside. And again, just plain old paper, but oh my gosh. So yeah, like I said, I, you know, I got a couple of each of them. Now I'm not sure. I think this one's my favorite. Um, I'm not sure, but anyways, good vibes only. Oh, look at that one. Oh my gosh. The little birdie on the cloud. I thought it was so pretty when you open up that front cover. That's what it looks like. I'm just loving on this one. I really, really am. And then there's your paper. And like I mentioned, I got two of each. Alrighty, staying in the stationery department. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm all sniffy. <clears throat> Cheryl, you've been bitching about these donut pens. Now she knows I'm joking when I say bitching. I believe she's been referring to the ones I have. Well, my boobs are in the way. But the ones I have over there. <laughs> Um, Miss Cheryl, I got you, girl. I got you. I think these are the ones you're talking about. If they are, let me know down below. And my gift to you, honey. Um, you just gotta let me know down below. All right, moving on. How about a few sweets and treats? Of course, we need sweets and treats, right? All right, now, this is a repeat for me because they're so good. There's so many flavors out and about right now, but this one by far has been my most favorite. And I saw them and I'm so guilty. I got four bags of them. And these are the Amos fruit gummies and these are the strawberry burst ones. These are so adorable. Actually, all their sweets are adorable. They taste so good. They look even better. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. As soon as I rip that bag open, it's like the like fresh strawberries, honest to goodness. Now let me show you these in case you haven't seen the other videos I've done. I'm man, I feel all snuffy all of a sudden. I feel like snuffleupagus. Okay, here are the little strawberries. Look at how cute those are. They even have the little green leaves. And then inside each strawberry, if you see that dark dot right up there, it's like a little burst of strawberry flavor. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine these for someone having some type of a specific strawberry party and having these on the table? Mm, they are so good. I'm going to chew it up right here in front of all of you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Also by the same company. I saw somebody haul these and I'm trying to remember who it was. These are by Amos as well. These are 3.53 ounces, 4D gummy sour building blocks. These must be like super fun to play with besides eating, but there's what they look like. Then they also had the Amos 4D gummy blocks and just the regular. So I thought, all right, well, we're gonna give them a try because I'm wondering if they're just as good as what I showed you because it's the same company and I didn't realize that until I was looking at it going wait a minute why is that name looking familiar to me I went back over to my strawberries and went well duh Beth look in your cart that's why so I'm really excited to give those a try um I also picked up 
I don't know what is going on with me. Um, if you watch the past couple videos, I'm just going to put it up there and take it away. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but I'm admiring them like crazy. All right, socks. Oh my gosh. You know, I always try to run around and find things that match. And I showed you probably a week ago these um, bobby pins with little gummy bears on them. Well, not literally gummy bears, but gummy bears. Look at these socks. Oh my gosh, they got little gummy bears on them. How cute. These are made by Juncture. They're shoe size 10 through 13. So if your foot's as big or you get a lot of shrinkage going on, um, these would be the ones for you. So you're getting two pairs for a bucket of coin, the little bears, and then you get some stripes. I'm actually guilty because I got two bears. I then saw these, which are like little coffee cups or tea cups all over them. And then they had these stars with the dark blue. And last but not least, I thought these were pretty. They're dark blue with all these little flowers on them. I could wear them out while I'm gardening. And then this white pair that had all kinds of pretty little flowers as well. Alrighty, now I know many of, I have to eat another one of these because they're really good. I have to get out of my chair and I know I normally don't walk away. I'm not trying to be rude, I just have to reach something. Okay, so I gave you guys, I, I was sitting on my leg, but my leg is like going numb. Are you one of those people like me that sits on their leg? I've done that my whole life until my leg goes so numb and then I just sit on the other one. Okay, so I gave you guys a sneak peek. This shirt is like falling off of micro minis. These guys, I bought a bunch and by the time I bought what I bought, and what was already gone, the box was empty. So they let me have the box. Um, anyways, <clears throat> these are by a company called Toy Hub Mystery Micro Minis. Collect them all. It says includes eight collectibles. Okay, collect them all. Series one. All right. Let's get into them, right? First, I need some scissors. Scissors. All righty. Man, those things are good. All right. So, I did get, you know, I think I got like eight packs all together. And then, like I said, they let me have the box. So, here's what I got. Let's see what's going on. All right. Um... All right, so again, it's Series 1 Micro Minis by Toy Hub. Not sounding familiar, but it's coming out of, um, actually, it's a Greenbrier product. Huh? So maybe this is a spinoff of the other ones? Anyways, who cares? All right, so here we go. They do have a little tear piece here, so it sounds like there's, more than one piece in here, but we're going to find out together. So I'm going to shake it down because I never know if there's any cards or... Um, yeah, that. All right. Here we go. You guys get to see before me. Peek it open. Ooh, there's like a whole bunch in there? All right. What's going on? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. What do we have? You get all that for a buck and a coin? No way, Jose. All right. <laughs> there went my scissors. Okay. It would not be. Really? What did I drop? On the, oh, wait. Hold on. I'm just going to keep the camera going because that's how we roll here on this channel. And then I just smack my head into a box. All right. I'm back. I got all these pieces in one bag. So check this out. We have a little maple syrup bottle. Oh my gosh. So if you have minis or collect minis, um, dollhouses, we have here, I'm not sure if this is a piece of toast with sliced avocado. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's a donut in here. <laughs> there's a little donut. Oh my gosh. Um, it could be a cupcake. It could be a muffin. Let's see. It's kind of hard to show you guys. Well, you know what? Let me do this. 
Cause say we keep it real here. We're gonna use the box cause I think if I held that in my hand, it looks like a little muffin. All right. We have a little, looks like a little measuring cup in pink. Matches my nail polish. Oh my gosh, a little mixer beater. Well, it looks like a little whisk. I said, if you have minis, oh my gosh, look at this little sushi rolls on a platter. How cute is that? And last but not least, a bar of chocolate. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, are these adorable? Should we open another one? Yes, we shall. All right, you guys ready? All right, so let's see what we got going on here. I'm just gonna shake it down. That's a lot of pieces for a buck and a coin. All right, gonna tear it here. You guys get to see before me. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. Oh no. Oh no, it's all new stuff. Okay, what do we got, what do we got? We have a little sack of flour. Oh my gosh. These things are so freaking addicting. Um, this I definitely is, am going to say is a cupcake. The other one I showed you is a muffin. So there's the cupcake. Do you guys see the little color on top? <gasps> Look, a set of chopsticks. Oh my gosh. And the only reason I know they're chopsticks, there they are. Oh wait, they could be a pair of drumsticks maybe. They're chopsticks because you have little sushi rolls. Oh my gosh. If you got minis or dollhouses or look at that. There's the little sushi rolls. We did get another donut, but it's a purple one. The other one was chocolate. We have a bottle of, looks like some kind of hot sauce. Some kind of hot sauce. This is gonna be a long video. We did get another measuring cup, but this is a different size. So this is the one I just got in this one, and this is the one I got before. So, oh my gosh, that's a lot of pieces for a buck and a coin. I'm telling you, what is this? I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you guys. It's a plate, and then on the plate, I'm not sure what those are. Be it's not a hot dog. Maybe something to do with sushi. And I'm just not sure because I don't eat sushi. All right, should we do one more? Let's just do one more. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Okay, take it down. Let's open it up. I don't mind getting duplicates of this stuff. Here we go. Oh, for a second I was like, wait a minute, what is that? I saw something like green. Oh my gosh, these, oh my God, these things are awesome. See, it doesn't take much to get me excited. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? It's a bowl of something green. I know it's a bowl because it sits, there's the bowl. Oh my gosh. Then we have a little croissant. Oh my gosh, look at the little croissant. It's a little rubber croissant. Look at the drink and it's purple. Oh my gosh. Check this out. It looks like one of those Baba teas. And look, it's got a little purple straw. Oh man. I don't even, this, oh, I can't think of off the top of my head what these are called, macaroons. It's so tiny, I almost feel like I have to get my tweezers out. But there it is right there between my fingers. It's a little macaroon. We have a little cup of coffee. There's the coffee inside right there. Oh my gosh. We have another muffin because this has like no color except for the bottom is blue. Then we have a little container. Oh my gosh, check this out. Look at how they went into detail. We have this little container for like sushi or Chinese, but then look at what they did. There's a little hand, I don't know how well I can show you. I'm gonna do the best I can. Do you see the little handle right here? I'm trying to do the best I can. There's a little handle there, like when you hold your containers, when you do takeout, oh my God, the detail. And then last but not least, I'm sure this is sushi related as well. I'm not sure what those are on there, maybe little shrimps. How cute 
are those? Oh my gosh. Will these last me the night? Probably not because I'm looking on the packaging and there's like all different kinds of things that I didn't even get in here. So who knows? I don't know. Um, this was fun. <laughs> all right, so that's what they look like, everybody. This was a long one. Hopefully you added something to your wish list. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Maybe a share or subscribe. Um, a mention would be awesome. But until next time, everybody, thank you so much. I really enjoyed my time with all of you. And until next time, Cheryl, you're going to go by again now? We're leaving? No, nothing? All right, until next time, everybody. Bye for now.